Hello, Hitless Gaming here. Uh, following up my last uh, mining barge fitting video with a video explaining the new crystals and residue. So, if you're interested in learning how to put crystals in your ship and get the most out of mining, uh, this is the video for you uh, to understand how the crystals work and why you would choose A, B, or even C. Uh, they're all pretty fun, so uh, I think that it's neat that we have them. Uh, we also have a couple of other things that I'd like to show you as well. Uh, but without further ado, let's say hi to Nika because she wants to be pet. We always pet the kitty. Because as soon as I start talking, she comes up and she's like, hey, dad, I'm good attention. As always, she's uh, ratting while we're mining. Um, that's Nika. She's going to bug us for half the video. Now let's go ahead and go on to my character here. Uh, I'm already set up in a belt, ready to show you guys. Um, Say hi to YouTube. Anyways, um, we're in a belt. We have a skiff, and it is fit for max tank, so we don't have extra yield. Uh, we're not going to discuss like getting the absolute best yield possible or what's actually like possible with the highest yield. We're just going to discuss the differences between the crystals and the different uh, mining mining laser options. Uh, so fit on the ship, for example, I have a strip miner one and a strip miner two or a modulated strip miner two. And then also, uh, I want to show you guys uh, a couple of stats on some other mining tools that you guys have. So we'll start there with the lasers, and then we'll get into crystals first. Uh, so when you're fitting up your mining ship, you go into equipment, and you're going to get harvest equipment. You're going to get your various harvester. Uh, and there are standard uh, for glass, gas cloud harvesters and... Uh, for gas cloud scoops, which my cat loves to stand on my stream deck. Uh, there is a standard and a uh, tech 2 that you can get. And the tech 2s have a waste percent and the tech 1s do not. I'm going to kind of explain how that works. Uh, using regular old... Uh, so this, what I'm saying I know applies to regular miners and... Uh, mining laser and uh the strip miners sorry i'm still getting familiar with all of the uh different like there's a thousand different variations of mining uh generally barges will fit strip miners and um mine ice mining lasers have to be on barges uh or no ice harvesters so they use ice harvesters and um mining lasers no, it's strip miners is what they tend to use. I, I have never mined gas, so I don't know exactly how gas works, but with the information you get, you'll be able to understand gas a little bit better. Uh, for ice, there's two options. Uh, you can mine uh, with a tier one laser and have zero residue probability. Uh, and then you mine every uh, a base time of 240 seconds, or you can mine with a tech two and you'll have a 34% residue uh, chance with a 20% decrease in the cycle time. So you can waste a little bit and you can mine faster or you can mine a little bit slower and not waste anything. And uh, the point of this video is to explain how waste works more so than to um, min-max mining, if that makes sense. Uh, so for ice, those are your two options. 34% uh, waste sounds like a big deal, but it's really not. Um, so how this works, is really simple. Whenever you mine anything ever, just go ahead and get this guy and we'll throw a uh, mining laser on it. This is a mining laser without a crystal. I believe this is my modulated tech two laser. So whenever you mine anything with a laser, uh, you have a chance that you'll generate residue and it tells you if you generated residue or not. Um, for most times, residue uh, is equivalent to what you mine. So if we mine 61 units, we're going to create a residue of 61. Um, and there's a chance every cycle that you generate residue. So if you uh, mine, you know, 1,800 M3 in a cycle and you generate residue that cycle, you're going to do 1,800 M3 worth of residue to the rock. And basically what residue is, is it, it will take out the ore from the rock but it won't go into your cargo. And what people thought is that it would, if you create a residue 
uh, or, or a common misconception is when you create residue that you lose your mining speed. You do not. You just destroy rock. Um, it just it's it, it it it's wasteful because you destroy the rock and it no longer exists. So if you destroy eighteen hundred m three of rock, then you can't mine that later. You'll get through the rock a lot faster because not only are you mining faster, but you're also generating additional residue. And because of the additional residue, you're going to run out of that rock faster, and thus the rock's going to go bye-bye, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's kind of how residue works. Um, you get that, and uh, with the different lasers and the different options, you'll get uh, different amounts of uh, residue percentage chance. Uh, you can get really unlucky even with the, the best residue. You can get a really unlucky streak and get like five residue cycles in a row, but over time it'll all average out pretty well. Um, I do want to point out that regular strip miners uh, have zero residue probability, but you can't put crystals into them. And then ore strip miners also have uh, zero residue chance as well. Uh, and so this adds a actual viable reason why you'd want to do ore strip miners. Uh, because ore strip miners will give you a higher yield without generating additional residue. And it's kind of falls in between a strip miner 1 and a strip miner 2 in uh, mining amount. Uh, so now let's talk about the crystals. There's three of them. Uh, we have A. Um, let me go ahead and show info on this guy. And then we'll go variations. I'm going to hit shift. I'm going to type in B and C. And then that'll give us all three of them. I'll go ahead and card these together. All right. And hopefully we can make it so it's A, B, C. So A, C, B. I'm going to put you on the last spot. Yep, there we go. A, B, C. And we're going to go to attributes on all three of them. And we'll be able to tag through these really quick. So for A, uh, you're going to have a, a chance of residue. It's a residue probability bonus of plus 3.6. And uh, there's no multiplier. Uh, and we'll explain the multiplier when we get to C. And this one has a residue probability bonus of 30% uh, and not additional volume. Uh, we also have a yield modifier 1.8. And this one also makes you um, cycle faster. Uh, I can't remember where that is on the stat, but I know when you have it on your crystal, you mine faster. Uh, I don't remember where that is. Also me, bonus, plus 20%, volume. Uh, I can't remember where that is on the B-type, uh, but this one has, a, they both have a yield uh, of 1.8 increase. So a... Uh, a and B have the same uh, yield amount per cycle, but B is 20% faster. And I'm, I'm sure you guys see it uh, in here somewhere, but it does make the, the them go 20% faster. Maybe it's not listed on this. Uh, there it is, the Asteroid Specialization Duration Multiplier. Uh, this one gives 0.8, meaning it's 20% faster. So if it has 100 second cycle time, the cycle time is going to go down to 80 seconds is uh, what this says. And then uh, this one does, simply doesn't have that attribute. You see there's an extra attribute here. And then with the, um, uh, I, I guess the C type has a one X. Uh, so how this works is if we, I don't want to close the tabs. We open up our fitting and we put in a, um, Go ahead and throw on a type T, type A, type two. Uh, we'll mine 1,634 M3 uh, every 180 seconds. And then if we put on a B type two, uh, we will be mining 1,634 M3 every 144 seconds. So the duration is less. And you can see here the uh, ore per second is 11.3 M3. And then the ore per second on type A is uh, going to be 9.1 M3. So the, the difference is pretty big. However, the big cost is that with tech one or with a type, I'm not sure if we're showing a type and we show info, not on the charge, but on the module, uh, cancel, you can go ahead and show info here on this guy. We get a, a residue probability of 37.8%, meaning that, uh, one in every three to every, uh, one in every four 
or no, it'd be one in every three to one in every two. It's kind of in the middle though. 33% is one third and one in two is 55. So it's just a little bit above one third of the time you will create residue. So if we go ahead and turn this on and I showed you guys, I cycled it a few times and I was able to uh, generate some residue on the rock. Um, and it does get noted in your log when you do that. I'm just going to hit that a couple times. And there you see we, we hit 432 and we made residue. If you load a B type uh, here, uh, you'll mine faster. So in a shorter time, you mine more. Uh, but you two out of three times, you should end up generating some residue uh, when you do this. I'm just burning capacitor, but there's residue. Uh, we just did like three cycles with that residue. Uh, and you see, we just made residue again. It's much more likely that we make residue. And residue is, uh, it's it, it destroys rocks that are, are that are inside the thing. It does not slow down your yield. Um, and I believe the math works out that if you run the 60% residue creation, uh, there's still, there's a little bit less ore than there was before, uh, but you mine it a lot faster. Uh, and then the uh, third type is the fun type. And uh, there's a couple of myths around this. Uh, so how this type works is it's going to make our mining amount significantly less. So our mining amount is going to go way down. And then our residue volume multiplier goes up by uh, 29 times. So uh, whenever we create residue, we're going to create uh, 30 or uh, 29 times the residue of what we take out of the rock. So uh, if we mine 103 of ore, we're going to mine or we're going to take out of that rock 3,003. This is not designed to mine more. This is designed to go out to an enemy field and raise it and just completely destroy the rocks. Um, you can do this in high sec. As of right now, you do not need a, uh, you don't go suspect. Um, and what it does is it makes this kind of fire animation. So you can tell really quickly that somebody's raising a rock uh, by looking at them. And what this will do is uh, with a 94% chance, we just, we just destroyed 143 plus the 41 uh, M3 of rock. Uh, so we denied somebody from mining this. Uh, which is crazy. Uh, we are in high sec, uh, and you can do this with a green safety. It does not make you go suspect at the time. I did make a, uh, I did talk to CCP about it. Uh, I or well, I, I asked a question in Discord, so I didn't actually like talk to somebody. I was like, is this the way it's supposed to be? And they're like, at the time, yes. And this may change in the future. So for the sake of this video, if you're watching this in a year, this may be different. But if you set your safety to green, it will. If, if they change it so that you make suspect when your safety is green, it will not allow you to activate this on a rock. So as long as your safety is green, you are safe to activate the module and it'll work just fine. Uh, but this will just absolutely destroy rocks uh, and we will consume them very quickly. You can only imagine a Hulk running this. It's just insane. Um, anyways, that's basically how the rocks work uh or how the crystals work and if you buy one i'd suggest buying all three and trying them out i have a preference towards a because i like to mine uh in a way that isn't uh completely devastating but i like to mine faster than it was before and that's where a is at um i haven't done the math but i know that if you work it out and i've kind of worked it out a little bit but uh there's still like 150 percent more ore in a rock using a type a crystal and a type A crystal is faster than a, a tier two crystal of the same type before the patch. We just now also have type B crystals, which are wasteful, but you, you bring in a lot more. You'll mine a lot more. You'll make a lot more S running type B. However, the trade-off is that you're going to run out of rocks faster. Uh, so uh, how I would imagine this would work is uh, if you're mining, like, for example, an R34, you would take uh, tier one to the super valuable ores in the in the moon and then you would take a um you would probably uh use the the faster mining one for the less valuable ores and even just to clear the 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 belt or, or clear a belt of, of ore so it, it despawns uh you would use the type c uh to maximize profit i'm sure there's some kind of way to do that i'm not familiar enough with mining i like understanding mechanics and that's kind of where we're at uh, kind of learning the crystals uh, but I figured this would be a good follow-up uh, for the last video, uh, kind of explaining crystals and explaining uh, the concept that every single 
mining barge and exhumer now mines more than they did in the past even with the residue as the residue does not slow down what comes into you uh one way to think about it is if you were mining a bunch of oil and this is going to sound really bad uh but if you're mining a bunch of oil and residue could be viewed as i have a stronger pump so i'm going to create a lot of spillage i'm going to spill a lot of oil on the ground but I'm going to get more oil out of the out of the field. I'm going to ruin the oil because I'm just going to spill it everywhere and I can't get that back. Uh, or uh, another example would be um, we're trying to uh, harvest wood from trees and our harvest method involves fire. And if we are trying to, you know, get 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 lumber and we are we have a harvest method that doesn't involve fire uses less fire and we we can make it faster using more fire but we would then burn down additional trees while getting the wood but we will get more wood we just burn the forest while we're at it <laughs> you know that's that's the uh and i know those are it, it, terrible examples but that's basically the equivalent of what it is uh you're you 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 do additional damage to the field for better yield uh, some people will prefer to be able to sit in a belt longer. Some people will be like, you know what? I'm just going to eat all of the minerals that I can get my grubby little hands on and not care about the waste because that's how some people are. Um, and that's something that we get to express and have fun with in EVE uh, without it having a real world impact. And we can be greedy and take up all the rocks uh, or we can be more conservative and then mine for longer. It just kind of depends on what you need, what you want, what's better for your group or corporation, uh, and uh, what's better for your area of space. And uh, I'm not going to get into all the different types, uh, but there are a lot of different uh, charges. If we go ahead and simulate this guy uh, and look at charges. There are a ton of different crystals. Uh, how these work now, and I probably should have led with this, but how these work is uh, every mineral grouping so there's high sec low sec uh moon ore um and then there's wormhole ore there's hotchfin ore there's different areas of ore the different crystal groupings go with different areas uh so you can look at them and see uh and if you right click on them uh, so for simple is high sec ore and so uh we would read the description and it tells us which rocks are the ones that it gives a bonus to when we read the description. Uh, so would, to pick out the correct ore type, you would uh, look at what this is. You'd show info and it would tell you which ores. Uh, so you would find the type that goes with your ore type. And I'm sure there will be charts made in the future. Um, I may, I'm not going to promise that I'll make one, uh, but there is a, definitely a need to make one uh, because each crystal type has a different thing and having a chart for, uh, what mines, what would be a good idea. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the little guide on mining crystals that I have for you. I'll make the thumbnail, uh, this complicated <laughs> question mark with all these crystals because there's like a thousand different options. Uh, but basically you would pick the type that goes with your rock and then you would pick A, B, or C. Um, you would pick the... I guess the uh, for name of culture, so the they call them type. Uh, so we would say group, uh, simple, or um, I can't remember what you call it. Um, but there's something in, in name of culture where you call the next grouping up. Uh, so there's there's the, the the type and then the group, and then so you'd pick what group you want uh, based on where you're mining, and then you would pick the type for your specific needs. Uh, is the way to make this simpler to digest in your head. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, make sure you guys fly fun, continue enjoying the game, continue bringing each other up and I will see you guys in the next video.